वेलकम टू डे थ्री ऑफ रियल डिवाइस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन गैस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी इंपोर्टेंट एज वेल राइट बिकॉज मेनी टाइम इंटरव्यूर इज आस्किंग टू नेटवर्क इंजीनियर हाउ टू री स्टोर आई एस इन राउटर इफ यू डोंट हैव बैकअप इफ यू डोंट हैव बैकअप सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू स्टोर सिस्को आई एस इमेज इफ यू डोंट हैव बैकअप I will discuss step by step everything. Don't worry about that. But first of all, let let me know you that I have one router and series of this router is two eight double one, right? And guys, I deleted flash memory, right? As you can see over here, here is flash memory, right? This is my flash memory, but this is deleted, right? I deleted this flash memory. There is nothing in this router, right? There is nothing in their route in this router. I will show you. Flash as well. Let me put this flash over here. And first of all, why I am making this video, right? Because I remember, guys, just six months back, I was searching the same things on YouTube and Google. How to store Cisco IOS, Cisco IOS image in router, right? But I didn't get one single video who teach me step by step, right? Who <clears throat> make me clear step by step how to Restore or restore Cisco IS if we don't have backup. So today I am going to show you how to restore Cisco IS if you don't have backup, step by step. But first of all, let me tell you what are the requirements, right? I had already deleted deleted this flash, right? So now this router don't have anything in flash, right? This router don't have IS in the flash, right? So I will show you how to download. and how many software are required actually three software are required first one is we need one tftp server so you can download tftp server from google as well right or you can contact me to download tftp server as well i will i can share link with you right i have tftp server also after that you need to download cisco is image from cisco website Cisco IS image from Cisco website. So you need to download Cisco IS according to your series of router, right? So I am using my router is two eight double one. So I, I I will download the IS of IS image for two eight double one router from the Cisco website. After that, you need putty definitely to access this router, but you will get access in Roman mode. right in roman mode so we will we will discuss how to configure in roman mode how to configure ip address on fast ethernet 0/0 in roman mode but let me talk about the hardware requirement first of first thing console cable after that ethernet cable so guys you can see i have one ethernet cable right this is my ethernet cable and one end of this ethernet cable is connected to my cpu right on lan interface of my cpu right and let me connect other end to fast ethernet 0/0 of my router right so i connected lan ethernet cable to fast ethernet 0/0 interface of my router and lan interface of cpu after that you need one console cable so i have one console cable and one end is connected to my cpu right one end is connected to my computer and let me connect other end to console port to console port right so this is my console port yes fine now let me turn on the device oh so it's noisy just wait for some time let me take you on my computer screen first right after that i will show you if i will open putty and i will access this router i will get access in roman mode after that i will configure one ip address on lan on this interface on fast ethernet 0/0 right after that i will download ios from cisco website i will put that ios in tftp server and after that i will store that ios from tftp server to this router right so this this is step i am going to follow right so let's begin okay let me turn on the device and come to my computer screen okay so guys as you can see over here i have one ios right i downloaded this ios from cisco side from this cisco website 
and this is iOS 4 2811 router okay and I have one TFTP server over here you can also download this server from Google as well right so this is my TFTP server and this is my iOS right as you can see over here I just I had just downloaded this, TF, this TFTP server in my computer right and after that you can run this software in your computer in your laptop or in your computer fine now this is my iOS okay so let me put this iOS in TFTP server let me put this iOS in TFTP server first so click on browse browse after that desktop and 2811 right folder is 2811 where I put my iOS image okay after that let me check IP address of my Ethernet port right my Ethernet port which is connected to my router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 right let me show you IP address so IP address is change adapter setting go to change adapter setting after that property click on Ethernet then property and IPv4 click on IPv4 right so IP address is 192.168.10.1 Submit mask 255.255.255.0 and default gateway. Let me type one default gateway 192.168.10.2 over here, right? So I am going to configure 10.2 IP address on the interface of router. Fine. So let me close it. Close it. And here we need to select IP address 192.168.10.1. Let minimize it. After that, just open putty. You need to open putty over here right so putty and click on serial after that let me change the speed 9600 and open click on open guys you can see I have access in Roman mode right now let me show you the flash of this router D I R flash colon enter as you can see over here there is nothing in flash right i deleted the flash of my router right so we need to store ios from tftp server so let me change the color of putty first and let me show you let me skip i am going to skip some part right you you don't need to watch how to change the color of putty right just wait so guys you need to run these command in roman mode first right you have to provide ip address on the interface of router subnet mask default gateway DF, tftp server ip address after that file name of t your ios ios image which is stored at tftp server fine so make sure your lan cable is connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 after that tftp download and enter once you hit enter you can see the warning just wait you can see the warning warning all existing data in all partition on flash will be lost so type yes over here and click enter you need to type yes okay then your router will download the ios from tftp server so click on yes and hit enter just wait router will start downloading iOS image from TFTP server as you can see guys receiving C2800MN this is the file name of my iOS right so receiving this file from 192.168.10.1 so now th this router is downloading iOS image from TFTP server just wait for some time just wait for some time now this router is downloading iOS from TFTP server in flash right once this router will download the iOS from flash right you will see what is the next step right so what we need to do over here nothing you need to configure one IP address on the router interface fine after that after that let me maximize this screen so this is full screen of my computer right now as you can see my router is downloading iOS image from TFTP server 
once download downloading is complete right you will see the next step but first first what is the step what is the actual step A step is nothing just connect your uh, router through one ethernet cable on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 or on 0 slash 1 anywhere right after that you need to configure one ip address on fast ethernet interface right after that you have to provide default gateway to the interface after that tftp address after that tftp file name after that tftp download you need to run this command only once you click on download router will ask you they ask you to 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 let you know that your all all data will erase once once you will confirm yes right your router will start downloading ios image from tftp server just wait now it's downloading just wait for a few seconds after a few seconds you will see this router will download it the main ios from tftp server just wait So guys, you can see over here, file reception completed, right? Now, just type enter, just type enter, just wait for more, just wait for some more time, just wait. Okay, copying file, file name A2 flash, right? Now, your IS is copied in flash, right? From, from tftp server so you need tftp server software right you can install it in your computer from google as well right after that you need to download your ios image right and after that you can follow this step to restore ios in flash fine so just wait for some more time let me show you something guys if you understand the importance of this video right this video is very helpful very important if you are in networking field right anywhere you you need to restore is in the cisco device or in or nokia device or any other vendor device right so if you understand the importance of this video please like the video right if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe the channel right and just wait for some time let me mute myself.
okay now copying is done now you need to run reset command over here after that you will get access in user mode just wait now again your router will reboot see your router is rebooting just wait fine so see guys soon i will get access in user mode right just wait so don't worry if you if you have nothing in flash you can store iOS image again in your router right so i was searching on youtube this type of video but trust me guys there is no one video available on youtube like this right who will teach you each and everything step by step how to restore ios now we need to run no over here right would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog no just type no let me type no over here let me type no enter and see you will get access in user mode yes you can see guys now run enable command so ip interface brief so flash you can check right now in flash i have ios image you can see over here right now let me show you running configuration so ip interface brief so there is no any ip address configure so running configuration right so there is something in running configuration as you can see over here let me run so a startup configuration right so there is nothing in a startup configuration i want to save my running configuration in a startup configuration i will run write command right and guys this is how you can store your ios image in router if flash of router is deleted right so hope guys this video is helpful for you if yes if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel thank you thanks for watching we will meet in next video with something new till then stay safe thank you